Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one's on geometric shapes, patterns, backgrounds, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's quite good for a tech sort of background and it is a repeatable pattern. If you want to follow along at home, the artboard is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels high, CMYK. Press pause and add these three colors to your swatches. If you can't see any of these windows, then press pause again and you can copy which ones I've got. If you want to copy my layout, this is something I've done over the last 20 years. Again, in view, you want smart guides and snap to point, just so that will make it a bit easier. So I've got a new artboard down here and I've got some prompts because it is quite a complicated step by step and you need to make sure that things align to get the right kind of pattern. The first thing we're going to do is draw a polygon. Um, it's underneath the ellipse tool or the rectangle tool, whichever you last selected. So hit polygon. And if you click and drag, you could see anything from a equilateral triangle to a, I don't know, eight sided, nine, whatever sided polygon. The, the trick here is, is just to click on the artboard and then the interface opens up and you can just put six, click OK. Um, when we've done that, we can rotate this 90 degrees holding shift. Um, so the points are at the top and the bottom. We then want to make it uh, 70 pixels wide. It's quite important to stick to these dimensions. So let's line it up with this one. We're going to add the circles now on each point and our circle wants to be 30 pixels. So underneath the polygon, click and hold and press ellipse. Just drag, hold shift and just drag out a circle and then in transform you can click 30. Now grab the center point and drag it over here. Um, mine's aligned up. I can press command Y to see the outline but you can select this polygon and press command shift and the right square bracket to bring it to the front and that way you can see that it's where it needs to be. Press option, you'll see the double um, cursors. Click, press shift as you're still holding it until it snaps down to this point. Now, press V again, select this one, hold shift and select this one. Press command C, command shift V, which is copy and paste in place. Now, click the rotate, double click the rotate tool and you want minus 60. Click OK. And this is a bit of a shortcut. Press Command C, Command Shift V, which is copy and paste in place again. But instead of doing that same thing again, just press Command D. And it just replicates the last sort of move that you did, the last rotate. Press Command Y if you want and make sure it's all lined up. Looks good. Now from here, we're going to bring this polygon up to the front again. So press Command Shift and the right square bracket brings it to the front. And now what we want to do is get these crossbars going across these three bars and they uh, they line up but what you need to do is press pen tool the pen tool and make sure you're on this anchor point here and just go across to the other anchor point same with this one here that to that so it snaps in and then from the middle from the top just to the middle now direct select is a press that press this one and you can bring this one back to the middle till it snaps and bring it back to the middle till it snaps. Select all three and make the stroke width, I think it's 21, it might be 19, let me double check. It's 19, so make the stroke weight 19. So from here, let's move it along to here so we can see. We want this now that to, to change this, curve, this shape into this curved shape. So let's zoom in a bit. First thing we're going to do is select these three strokes in the middle and go to Object, Expand, Fill and Stroke Ticked, click OK. And we can unite this. So under Pathfinder, you can hit the first one, which is Unite, which has now made it into one shape. If you press A, select the three um, anchor points in the middle. We're going to drag these out and you'll see our box. It now says 7, 8, 9, 10. Drag it to about 27. 27. It's fairly accurate but 0.03 of a pixel won't make any difference here. Now from here before we carry on we're going to select this shape and this one so press shift and we're going to command C command shift V and just put those over there for now. We're going to use these as this for this spacing here. Um, go back to this shape with V select that hold shift 
and select the three circles and go back to Pathfinder and hit Unite again. Now use Direct Select here. We can select these two, press Shift and just drag over or click these ones. Now the radius um, icon here, you're gonna drag it all the way out until it goes red. And now we've got that, we can move on to the next stage, which is to get this circle above the shapes. This is where this comes in. So if I move this over here, you can see that I need to get these two and I wanna align, I'm, I'm in the middle here, and sometimes it doesn't snap to where you want it to do. It's quite frustrating, but if you command Y again, you can get it lined up pretty well. So command Y back out of there. And then we can get rid of that one. So now what we've got is that shape. And we're gonna take this, we're gonna leave the, the polygon in there for now. We're just gonna rotate this 90 degrees. I hold shift and it'll rotate. And you can see that this is now this bit here. So what we're gonna do is hold command Sorry, I'm gonna hold option until I see the double cursor and I'm gonna start click and drag which copies it, but hold shift so it's on that horizontal plane. Go back to rotate, but underneath there is reflect. Double click that and you want it a vertical reflection um, and click okay. Once you've done that, drag this in holding shift until these align, snap in place, and get rid of one of those. And now what we want to do is duplicate this a couple of times so and rotate it. So select everything, command C, command shift V, which is paste it in place. Uh, again, hold reflect, go back to rotate, double click that, and you want minus 60, hit OK. Now to do that again, we could go through the same steps, but in, instead you're going to command C, command shift V, and then just press command D, which will do it for us. And from here, we can then start to use this as our pattern. So let's get rid of these polygons. And we can select everything. I'll leave it different colors for now, but that's fine. Um, so select everything and you're gonna hold Option and Shift and just click and drag across until that snaps in. And you can press Command D now. If you nailed the the move the last time round, Command D will duplicate what you just did. So it is quite handy. I'm gonna do it a couple more times. And there we are. So from here, what we wanna do, we need to add a couple of these circles in. See these gaps here. We're gonna add some circles in. So press A, which is direct select, and click these ones. Hold Shift and select those four, and then Option and Shift to drag them up until they align. Sometimes it does it first time, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you wanna align it that way. With them still selected, we're gonna option shift, click and drag down and get them in there. So now what we've got is a pretty good repeat pattern. We can select the whole thing and press command G, which groups it all together. And we can shift, and we can option shift, click and, and duplicate it down until it lines up with this bottom one here. Now we're gonna do a sideways move um, so we're just going to hold shift until it snaps into place there. And I mean, from here, you can pretty much do it as many times as you want. So you can select the two of them. You can pull it down, snap it into place. Oop. It snaps into place. What you are going to have is a few duplicates, like on one on top of the other. But to be honest, you can then just select everything. You can resize it. You can select it all one color. Um, fill color there and that is a geometric tech pattern please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time